Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. Right, today we're going to take a look at the 16-bit I2C a four-channel AD1115 stroke ADS1015 module. I purchased this from eBay, UK seller. It was about £4. I have seen them from Chinese sellers. Uh, under the two pound and this is boosting like four channels at 16 bit resolution which is uh, far better than like the standard Arduino. Uh, I haven't opened it yet as you can see it's still in its packet so we will try and open this try being near the optimum word Right. Out of one packet. Right. And let's take the other packet. Uh, immediately you can see we've got a header, which is not soldered. And this little board, uh, to give you some idea of the size of it, this is a uh, UK two pence piece. So it, it is a quite a small module and with my failing eyes, I'm down there, I can read anything on this. So let's uh, get this under the scope and see what we got. It's actually so small, it will fit nicely. All right, on this side, all we can see Right, let's get a pointer device so you know where I'm pointing. Uh, obviously, this is where the uh, header goes, and obviously two mounting positions. Let's have a look on the other side. Okay, that's nice. It's uh, screen printed on this side. So what we got? <coughs> I'm presuming. A0 to A3 is our four input channels. Uh, we got V and G, uh, maybe that's VCC, that's ground. These are S SCL, SDA, that's our comms line, which we'll use. It's a two wire I squared C. Right, we've got an ADR and an alert. I have no idea. I'd need to look up, see what they can do. Apparently, these are addressable, so you can daisy chain a few of these if you need more inputs. Uh, I don't know how they're addressable. I'd need to look that up because I can't really see any any pads to short or whatever but you do have this uh, address line here so I presume saying it's done by that as you've seen I've just taken it out of the packet I haven't read anything uh, but this is gonna be utilized in an up and coming project uh, basically I'm gonna tap into these so uh, I'm gonna use the modules if I can find one can I find one Get one out of the bag, another one out of the bag. The, the module I'll actually review, or didn't review, I just did a quick look at in a previous video. Uh, you probably remember this one. It's just a voltage divider. So basically I'll have four of these. So yeah, it'll be boom, 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 boom. These will connect into here. So this would basically give me four 0 to 20 volt inputs with a resolution of 16 bits each. Right, this can be configured as four individual inputs or two differential inputs. Uh, obviously what I'm going to do is four individual inputs. So basically I'm going to be producing a four channel 0 to 20 volt uh, pretty high resolution digital DC voltmeter 
uh, that will come up in up and coming uh, videos that I'll do. Okay, hope that was useful. Like I said it's a nice little module. It, the only thing which is a bit of a downside is the uh, screen print in for the positions is in, in the back. So uh, I do want to mount this onto a board. So, so I'll have to mount it like this way down. Otherwise, I ain't got a clue of uh, what I'm going to be connecting to what. Okay, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, more videos coming. Uh, I've got more videos on this. Uh, shall I say, I've got lots of projects in the air at the moment, and uh, I've never got enough time to do half of them. But they're, they're getting there slowly, so many thanks for watching. Keep tuned in. We're going to have some exciting stuff in the future.